And now an eight on your side crime tracker report. A local cabbie says drivers are declaring war on criminals who are targeting them. Over the last week, four of them have been attacked in St. Petersburg, the latest coming just last night. And that adds to an already long list of cases. News Channel X Rod Challenger has the story of one driver who says it's time to take drastic action. Last week, 53-year-old Bill Kelly stopped to pick up a fare in St. Petersburg when the man suddenly stuck a gun through the window of his cab. Kelly took off. The would-be robber fired. I raised my arm like this and I leaned this way. And the bullet came through here, went out here, bounced off my collarbone, and then it went into the underneath my chin. Kelly managed to drive to a supermarket parking lot and flagged down two police officers for help. He's not the only cabbie to be attacked recently. This is near where the latest cab driver robbery in St. Petersburg happened. The cabbie felt a piece of metal pressed against his neck, and his passenger demanded that he turn over all his money, then took off on foot. Police report thugs have attacked or robbed 18 cab drivers all over the city this year. Police told me the attacks are the work of a lot of different men. Two drivers have died. Cyril Obinka killed this spring, and Linda Faison found murdered early Saturday morning. It's like right now, it's a war on cabbies. It's the second attack on Kelly in six weeks. What I think we ought to do is shoot back. I think we ought to start putting some of them in the ground. Police say the drivers need to start becoming more careful. They can become more aware of their surroundings, more aware of what to look for, the red flags that would say, uh, that guy's going to rob me, and then leave. Kelly is back at work saying he needs the money to pay his bills, but he says he will be more careful. If we start shooting back, and that's what I'm going to do, <laughs> I'm going to go up. If, if I do get a call I don't know about, and if I do ch decide to take it, I'm going to have my gun in my hand, and I'm going to be ready to shoot. Kelly is lucky to be alive, and he credits his faith in God. I'm Rod Challenger, News Channel 8.